Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I'm going to be using my arms a lot today so that you can see my <laughs> dress sleeves because they're just so cute and they kind of get hidden. So don't think it's weird if I start doing this a bunch. <laughs> okay, so what will I be working on in June? First of all, can we talk about how it's already June? Like, how did that happen? I feel like it was just March and now fast forward three months and now it's June. Crazy. Um, I've got a lot of plans, but not as many as I normally would because I'm headed back to New York City the last week of this month. Amber and my friend who has gone with me every other year, we've gone every year for, maybe this is our fourth time, maybe our fifth time. Um, and so she'll be coming with me again and we're gonna go we're gonna do fabric shopping of course we're gonna go see some museums we're gonna go to the met um the met museum thing um the fit museum i think i don't know she has the whole schedule i'm just kind of like showing up um she's definitely the cruise director on our little <laughs> on our vacations so i am really excited about going and it's gonna be a lot of fun hopefully it's not too hot um we did pick June intentionally because of the weather, um, but this weather has just been out of control. So who knows what we're gonna get whenever we actually get there, but it'll be fun either way. So I really only have three weeks of sewing, so I'm trying to plan accordingly and not do too much. But some things that for sure are gonna happen because they happen every month are my refashion, for the month and the so my style project those for sure will get handled i'll start with the refashion i grabbed this at goodwill it is a shirt bodice with like a maxi on the bottom the fabric is some kind of polyester stretch poly um nothing really special i just like the colors i just thought the fabric was pretty this is like a fabric i think i would pick up even if uh, by the yard. You know what I mean? Oh, so I think I'm finally, finally going to get on the Ogden cami train. Believe it or not, I've never made one. I don't even think I have the pattern yet. I don't know how it's happened, but I think I'm finally going to do it because one of the things I realized in So My Style, and you'll learn, um, you'll hear more about this. I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to it, um, in like a week or so. Um, one thing I learned is that I don't have enough like casual tops. So last year I was like, I don't have any tops. And so last year I just started like making all these tops, but what I ended up making were like ones that you would wear with like dress pants or like dressier shorts. Like I don't have any that look really good with just jean shorts, you know what I mean? And I've also learned through the year that I don't love making like thin lightweight t-shirt tops like the top I made um last month if you saw my makes video was like a stable knit it had like kind of like some details with a sleeve like that would look really cute with jeans and so I thought that if I could make some all jean camis and put my cute jackets with it then it could be dress up or dress down you know that's where my mind is at. So I'm thinking I'm gonna turn this into an Ogden cami. I get that Ogden camis are designed for woven fabrics and this is technically a knit, but I think that it's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, I just don't know what else I would make this into uh, in terms of like a knit garment, you know? Like I'm not gonna make it into a knit dress. I don't wear knit skirts. So I thought I'd make it into a knit top. And it needs to be lightweight and drapey because that's how the fabric is. So I thought the Ogden cami would be a good option. If I decide that I don't want to do the Ogden cami, I got this McCall's pattern, brand new, 7779, um, that I could also use. But again, this is designed for wovens. And I feel like this one's a little less forgiving in terms of the swap out than the Ogden cami is. But it's an option. And I feel like um, the way that the backs are these are all the back options um it could be really cute and i have enough fabric to do something extra like the cami is not going to take up all of this you know what i mean so those are those are the two i'm, I'm toying with between these i might actually crank this out because this would be great for new york city shorts and this would be killer so maybe i should find a woven in my stash looking through it now nothing's jumping out at me but <laughs> that does 
doesn't mean it won't happen. I know I have some like rayon twill or something that would keep the structure. Like I like how hers is, how it's structured, you know, keeps the shape really well. So we'll see. Maybe this will get an addition to an Ogden. Um, we'll see. All right. The, um, so my style pattern for this month, honestly, I can't even remember what it's called or who makes it. Helen's Closet. Is that even a fabric, a pattern designer? I'm not sure, but it's a robe. It's like a bathrobe. And personally, I don't use bathrobes. I own one and I literally never put it on. It's not comfortable to me. I'd rather just put on pajamas or the clothes that I'm going to wear that day. So I'm doing it again. I'm swapping out the pattern for something else. But as always, like I, I still want to stay true to like the concept. So I went through my pattern stash to try and find some patterns that were like robe-ish. Um, whether that means it has a um, dolman sleeve or a wrap. Um, that's kind of where my mind's at. So I brought out the Charlie Caftan, which I made recently for um, Stylemaker Fabrics booth at the Sew Expo back in March. And I did enjoy making it, but I already have some ideas of how I would change it up. First of all, I wouldn't put the pockets in. Second of all, this little like middle doodad I would spend a lot more time making sure that that got on there right. Um, but I do think that it's a cute pattern. I also think that this version would be really cute in some tinsel or chambray or, you know, something lightweight, but, or maybe some of that rayon um, poplin that I've been loving. I did get, maybe that's what it'll end up being. Anyways. Um, so that's kind of like roby because of the sleeve, but then I also pulled out this. I did not intend to pull out two patterns that I've made for Stylemaker Fabrics, I swear. It just <laughs> happened to be that way. So I made this version C for the, um, blog tour for this spring, um, with the rayon poplin. That's what initially got me started on loving rayon poplin. Wow, what a quinky dink. Either way, I love version A with the wrap and the big sleeve um, and just like the little simple skirt um, with none of this. I mean, remember that um, um, flounce? It was like, it took up my whole floor, the flounce did for this. Um, so I think I might make version A. Again, I definitely have fabric in my stash. Um, I have a gajillion rayon chalets. I even have one that's a really sweet floral with like pink and blue. Um, let me pull it out real quick. Actually, I have like three. Oh, okay. I actually just pulled out three of them. So I have, I don't know which one I have enough of. How much does it even take? Um, two and three quarters. So that's kind of a lot, but I have, um, this one here super pretty, right? I have, oh no, I only have two. And the, oh, this one, I think I have plenty of yardage jobs, so maybe it'll just be this. Um, and this one will be just like background purple with these fawns and a little bit of floral on it. What is going on? These two things are attached. Um, so maybe that'll be it. That'd be really pretty too with those sleeves. Oh, I'm getting excited. Okay. Um, so this for sure, this is what I'm doing. I've just decided. This is an actual plans video. Um, these two things are going to be merged um, and they're gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Great. One less thing to worry about. Okay, next up we have, okay, so you guys saw the video where I made Sunny that adorable shirt. Um, I'll link it here if you haven't seen it. Sunny's my dog. Um, so my brain started going and I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I could make him one that was even more so like a men's shirt? So I went to Goodwill and I got a little boy's button up. Isn't that so cute? It's actually kind of like a, I mean, a big little boy, maybe an eight year old. I don't know. How did, how did these things get sized? I know nothing about children's clothes. Okay. So then I thought, okay, well I could make this like his little, like if this were his back, you know, it would be like this all buttoned up and like his body would be in here, you know, all buttoned up. That would be like down his back and then figure out a way to cut this out 
to like make it the part that goes around his neck and then sew up the rest of it the same way that I sewed that pattern from the Cricut Maker. I thought that that would be so cute. So this is like a little bonus. Again, I'm kind of short on time this month, but um, I want to keep making him clothes because I really do think he enjoys wearing it. I feel like he knows I made that. <laughs> Um, and his daddy really liked it. So that really helps. It was a shirt that I made him for Father's Day. Um, I think it says daddy's little, uh, cuter than daddy something, something about daddy. I can't even remember what it is. But so yeah, my brain's kind of trying to wrap around how to make this work. So I'll keep you guys posted if I get it sorted. Um, cause I think if it, if I can figure it out, it will be really cute. Might just involve some bias tape is what I'm thinking. So we'll see. Um, next up, this list feels long, <laughs> but I can't help myself. Okay. So I went to Joanne a few days ago, like maybe the end of May, the very end of May. And did you see my video on... Luna Graphics Co.'s um, new sleeve placket template. The thing is awesome and it made truly a beautiful sleeve placket so it got me really inspired to make an actual legit button down shirt with the collar and the whole nine yards. Um, so I pulled out the only button down shirt pattern with cuffs that I have and it is Butter, I'm sorry, Vogue 9029. Uh, I'm 99% sure I got it because of the ruffle, because I love a ruffle. But I think I'm going to make the one with the bow, big bow here. And so, like, I'm at the fabric store and I'm like, yeah, I could just get, like, a white shirting again with the white shirting. And then I get there and I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like, I feel like it should be more special, more fun. So then I just went for it and I ended up with this. <laughs> it has tigers, it has pelicans, it has flowers and leaves, palms and all of that. I don't know. I just, I, I did get some validation from two of my girlfriends. Amber is one of them and our other friend Sarah, who is very stylish. And they said to go for it. So I did. I got it. It washed up really nice. It is a shirting, so it's 100% cotton, but it is, I, I want to say it's probably a voil. I mean, it doesn't say that anywhere, but it is lightweight like a voil would be. It's not a stiff shirting at all. Um, so, and now that I have it and I haven't cut into it yet, I am feeling very like attached to it and very excited about it. My only dilemma now is should I still keep it a shirt or should I make it a shirt dress? Ugh! I'd have to go back to the store and get a little bit more fabric because I don't have enough to make a skirt and all this, but it would be super simple to attach a gathered skirt, a pleated skirt, any of the skirts that I normally use. Um, and I just feel like because the um, fabric is a little bit wild, no pun intended, what would I wear it with? You know, like I am not wearing jeans for the next mm, five months probably. And shorts, I just feel like aren't that special. It, they, like if they wouldn't go, it would be like a dressy and a non-dressy. I don't have any separate skirts. I mean, I guess I could make a separate skirt out of like a pink or something to like pull out these colors or certainly with a green, but maybe it would just be better suited if I made a whole outfit. But is this too much as a dress? Is it like, whoa, girlfriend, got, uh, get out of the jungle and come back to reality with your like jungle dress. So I'm really leaning on you guys to help me decide what to do. Should this just be the regular button down shirt and then I make a separate skirt for it? Or should I just make it a shirt dress? Let me know in the comments what you think. I love your opinions. The more um, explanatory you can be as to why, the better, because um, that really helps me see what's in your mind about it, but let me know what you think. Very excited. Okay, and if I couldn't be more excited about anything other than that, it would be my next project. 
And that is McCall's 7774. So as soon as I saw this, I said, I am going to have that. I am going to find a linen stripe, variegated stripe, and I'm going to make this version of the dress. I mean, her stripes with the vine is adorable, but I always just saw it as a simple stripe. You can see that it's set on the bias, so the stripes kind of come up to make a point and then the skirt is vertical stripes and then the band is horizontal stripes. I just love the play on the direction of the fabric here. So I was at Joanne and I'm like, you know, tooling around and I'm thinking, you know, I should try and find some red, white, and blue fabric for, I mean, for the July is coming up. Yes, that would be obvious. But for all of those holidays that we have, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, I never have anything to wear because I'm not like a red girl. Um, I have a lot of navy and white, but I don't have a ton of red. And the sewing gods heard my thoughts and they said, I will give her the perfect fabric. And here it is. You guys, I get my variegated stripe. I get my linen. I get my red, white, and blue. I mean, right? This is going to be so good. I am going to wear this over and over and over and over. I'm going to live in it. I'm going to put it with my cork, um, my corks wedges and some cute jewelry and throw my hair up in a ponytail and this is going to be my new uniform. I am so excited about this. Um, if you saw my makes video, then, oh, this dress. So this is a linen from Joanne as well. And I had an, a small little issue with it because I pre-washed it and then I washed it again after I sewed it and it shrunk up more. So I'm going to pre-wash this guy probably three times before I actually cut into it just to make sure that everything is shrunk out of it that can possibly shrink out of it since I do plan on wearing it so much and we'll need to be washing it a lot. Um, and we'll just keep our fingers crossed that it, you know, holds up after three pre-washings. So I will keep you guys posted on that progress, but I'm just so excited. Isn't that going to be great? Love it. Love it. Love it. So I think that that does it. Those are all of my plans for June. Um, and I'm, like I said, super excited. Am I excited? I don't know. Am I? Look at my sleeves. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling really goofy now. Um, let me know what you're excited about sewing in June. Do you have a big project? Do you have something that you've just been like working on in your mind for a while? Let me know what you've got going on. Leave it in the comments. And also your thoughts on this. That's what I want to know about. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!